Hey, Jono here. Thank you for joining me for The Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm heading to Verhonga Savannah for my first look at this reserve, the second DLC pack. Uh, looking forward to this one because as you can see it has lions and I am looking forward to hunting lions. So let's let's head there. All right. Uh, you must have had a long flight, didn't you? Ah. Well, let's stretch your legs with some basics. You can finish these in any order you like. Okay. I'd start by reacquainting yourself with this area. Okay, thank you. It's always the problem of the beginning of a reserve. They introduce you. With a lot of, a lot of talking. So, Blue Wildebeest? Hamgani, the Blue Wildebeest were born to run. And they can run in herds of thousands. Unfortunately, they are not the healthiest animals. Diseases like foot and mouth spread quickly among them. So do parasites. We must keep a watchful eye over our fleet-footed friends. That was a mating call? All right, well, let's go after you. I've planned ahead with some actual callers. I believe that's for Springbok. A jackal? Yeah, there had to be jackals. Uh, class three. I had to see what class it was so I could pick the right rifle. Didn't really want it on top of me though. Nice. And a gold. Okay. I could not ask more of you. That was perfectly executed. Yeah. You've still got those other jobs to do, right? Don't slack. Just gold. Okay, hello. Nice start to the... To the reserve, a gold springbok with a heart shot. Okay, so I've done the first mission, and and there I've been told to go that way, but we're just gonna go off and hunt. We just that's that's what this video is about. Just seeing everything. Another springbok. Why not? I'll go for you. I'm just really hoping that the missions are, are better structured than Medved Tiger. I, I did really like that reserve and I will be going back to it constantly. But I just found the mission layout to be really... Real messy. I think I liked the core game's mission structure of you've got um, are you running away? I'm trying to remember what class you are. You basically had that's four. What is my ammo for? Two to six, four to nine, so I can hunt you with either. But how far away are you? Doesn't matter, you're gone. 100 meters. Let's call you again. Ah, slightly too long grass. Come on, you. Come out. Or just stand still now. I think I got... Yeah, yep. 
Yeah, I, I liked with the first two reserves, you had Doc and you had Connie, they introduced you, and then they had their missions. Ah, oh, another... what? Improper ammo. Oh, I looked at the difficulty for classes three. Well, it's a nice heart shot anyway, but... Ah, uh, I gotta watch that. I saw the four and went for the... Yeah, anyway. As I was saying, the first two reserves had a nice structured mission layout, which I liked. And you had your other characters like Tressler or Hope or whatever, and their missions were just Hope 1 to 10 and like five story missions for each character. But Medved, they introduced them under just sort of different titles, the biological preservations reserve or biological contaminants, uh, things like that. And I just, I didn't, I mean, the missions were fine, but I, I just think I personally like, just have the, the guy's name is Dimmy or something. So just have Dimmy one to 10. You, don't have to have, um, I'm gonna actually ignore you. you, you don't have to have, uh, I don't know, I just found it a messy layout, to be honest, like, you know, beers for Gumther 1 and 2, and then, like, Revenge for Gumther 1 to 5. It's like, why not just call the missions Gumther 1 to 10? I don't know. It's a silly little great, but it is something that I was like, uh, I don't know. who Who's hunting? Like, who am I doing what for? And they don't have storyline missions or anything. And then, is that something that went past? I don't believe so. Elena... Her, her missions, like, I mean, so many of them would just go to the spot and turn on this machine, or go here and look at some tracks, like, go to this outpost. It's like, well, these aren't really missions, you know? Like, Connie and that, once you get started, once you've done your, um, once you've done your, your outpost, your lookout tower, and you've harvested an animal. It's like, right, hunting missions. And yeah, there were the occasional, um, you know, sort of mission like, uh, like in Leighton Lake, it's like, go here and put out a campfire. Okay, that's that. Mission done. It's like, okay, that, that I didn't mind, like, because it was sort of few and far between. But Elena's missions are just all practically, like, Every outpost has a mission for visiting it. And then you get there, you find the outpost, you unlock it, whatever, and it's like, mission complete. Now, look at these tracks, which are right there. And you look at them and follow them for like 10, 10 meters. And, um... It's like, right, that mission's complete. It's like, why not just make it the same mission? Okay, what are you doing there? And that's why it was funny when there's a mission for taking photos of a lynx. And then the second part of the same mission is to now harvest a lynx. It's like the one time you could have separated those two missions. Because photographing a lynx is challenge enough. And you're like, nah, that can be one mission. Because we need to save room to make five missions for taking some steps. Go to Gumpher's place. Mission complete. Follow Gumpher's tracks. Mission complete. Follow Gumpher's tracks to where he is. Mission complete. It's like, okay, just why? Why? But anyway, that's enough about Medvi Tiger. Let's carry on actually trying to hunt this jackal. Uh. 
Ah, that horrible moment where you don't know whether or not it's actually behind something. That, you know, like a rock or whatever. Okay. Gold. <laughs> that stupid looking face. Alright. Sweet. Uh, I mean, that's the thing going... Pretty solid gold. Your first time, it's like, I don't know if that's like a good good one or not. Didn't have anything to go off. Attractive for quite a while, so happy to bag that. Let's see what else we can find. Ah. Oh. Hello. Terrible idea. Uh, <laughs> terrible shot. Uh, terrible, terrible shot. I mean, it hit a vital organ, but had its leg just in the wrong spot. And then, of course, it moved, because I knew it kind of spotted me. Silver. Yeah. Yeah, lucky to get the lens there. Alright, not not the best, best shot at a, an animal, but... Okay. Right in the middle of the silver territory. If I'm lucky, uh, we come across another one. Oh, hello. Alright, let's, um... Oh, I spotted someone else. Screen box there. Oh, they're feeding. Okay. I thought they were drinking. Try and get you twenty three to twenty eight. I can't remember what that means. Right now, I'm just looking at bagging some animals. Just not every animal that gets hunted has to be uh, gold, and well, that's sixteen to twenty one. So that's a good good size indicator. Problem is how long does this long grass go for? I don't really want to go in it. I like to go around and I don't really want to call it. Now I've been using this caller. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. The Buck Snort Wheeze Caller. But, it came up as DLC. 23 to 28. What was the other one? Okay, so they might have excellent vision. I think it's... This one was better. Unless it's the same one. I can't remember my memory, so... So shot. But yes, yeah, so before equipping it, it came up as DLC, and I was reluctant to use it because, I mean, for this video it's not so bad, but when doing the missions, I always try to refrain from using DLC items, uh, especially in the first two reserves, because I kind of felt, well, you know, doing a mission... Uh, doing a video on how to complete a mission 
I just think it's not really worth doing if you're going to be like, you know, just get into a tree pod and then, you know, bag it from here. And it's like, well, there aren't tree pods in the core game. You have to pay to get them. So, yeah, I try to refrain from using weapons or anything like that. I've been asked a couple times about using certain weapons and it's like, well, I haven't actually gone near them. Simply because... Simply because they're DLC weapons and I want to try and just stick with the core game. Now will you stop moving? Stop it. Thank you. Alright. Don't know if I got the heart or not. So... Yeah, yeah, I'm using this one. The reason I'm using this caller, though, despite saying DLC, is because I'm under the impression that it's DLC from this pack. So, you know, it's not a problem to use the DLC caller for the DLC pack it comes with. There we go. That's much better. God, it looks kind of feminine, to be honest. Nice gold. Just, but yeah, that's a better shot. Nicely placed in the heart. Excellent, excellent, better than that last one. All right. So yeah, hopefully I'm not wrong, and hopefully it's not like this call is from some weapons pack but from what I understand from what I could see people are saying you know this caller is available with the you know Furhonga Savannah DLC it's like okay well that makes sense like if they you know because it does cover like two to three animals in this area and I mean Medved had uh, musk deer with no caller but I think it would be a bit strange for this game to be like, well, here's three animals that you can't call. I'm pretty sure the only one I can't call is the buffalo. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, okay. No warning near. Okay, could you not kill me? Wow, you are <sighs> very aggressive. I'm dead. Holy crap. Look at me go. Welp, I'm all the way back at my one outpost. I'd ended up over here. There was a bunch, bunch of forest in there. I was, I was hoping to find something like Cape Buffalo or a Warthog or even a Lion. Um, what I wasn't expecting was that Buffalo to just be fucking... To be... To be so full on. I mean, Bison charge at you and then just run away. That guy just kept coming back. I had my rifle out. I should have gone for the pistol. Just to try and get a shot at him to basically defend myself so yeah this place is dangerous uh, I think we're gonna leave it there it would have been nice to have bagged one more species let's have a look at what what this is I think it's just another one of those lesser kudo um, I can't believe how how far sighted they are. They see you from so far away. It's crazy. But 
not destroy full. I mean, yeah, running and everything, but yeah, no, that's how you pose for first time. Bad enough trying to. Yeah. All right, Mr. Hart. Hopefully, I got the lun. Yeah. Okay. Buffalo are very dangerous. I was expecting running around to get some kind of warning call, but apparently not. Apparently they are happy to just wait until you're close enough and then just charge you down. So let's see. You got quite a distance. Yeah. I knew it was going to be a terrible shot. But anyway, that's it for uh, Verhonga Savannah. I hope you enjoyed my first look at it. Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting place to hunt. And yeah, let's let's just hope that the missions are a little more, I'm going to say challenging than in Medved. I, I mean more the main missions. Hopefully story related missions are more focused on hunting than on taking photos and and just going over the sink and interacting with it um medved did have some good interesting challenges uh missions like you know harvesting something without damaging the lands i mean the challenge is if you want to keep the harvest check with that but those were ones i actually quite enjoyed but yeah hopefully this DLC's a little more focused on hunting, but we'll find out. So until the next hunt, thank you very much for watching. If you've subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. And yeah, until next hunt, take it easy.